Yo, what's good guys? It's Lingers here. This is my updated fire. I'm gonna be covering DPS. We're gonna be covering AoE single target. I'm gonna be covering my tank. And I've also got a uh I would say it's like an off tank sort of single target E tank uh loadout as well, what I'll also cover. We'll cover allies, we'll cover artifacts, skill points, all that jazz. So yeah, let's get into it. So as you can see here, I'm on my AOE loadout. This is uh, what I'm going to be running in 2024 if I'm still fire. Um, so as you can see, our gear it's not really maxed. I've got most of my elite gear. I just need to get my elite head and my elite chest. Uh, chest? No, I need my back. I need my back for the feet, and then I get other things half price. So. We're working on that currently. Um, as you can see, I'm running the strategist card. Note that my artifacts are not 200. They are around 160 to 140 for my support and uh, DPS artifacts. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. We've got the strategist card. This allows us to deal damage. And when we deal damage, it has a percentage chance to double tick our damage this is really nice with fire as we're lingering a load of damage onto our enemy as a dot it allows to proc an extra additional double tick of dot's if there's procs so it's really nice uh transformation card increases our higher chance of getting said critical hits so works in hand with the strategist card for the extra critical damage what applies i then run the ebon this artifact is kind of weird but the way that everyone's using this artifact right now is they're not using a finisher to cut off the power strain what this artifact gives so every time when i use a power with this artifact i grow stronger in power but my power pull becomes more frail and more determined to just be empty unless i use a finisher and i can get it all back but we don't use a finisher we're, we're very depending on a controller to keep our power pull up when we're running this i do art swap minimalistically on my dps's and i will explain what i do minimalistically when i do art swap with them um so let's cover my allies real what well, well in fact we'll, we'll, we'll continue on the artifact here so with the artifact when i when i get an ultimate say i have my supercharge and and i and i spray i'm calling it ultimate because I'm, I'm used to other games it's a supercharge in this game so when i have a supercharge and I want to pop a supercharge. I will come into my inventory and I will swap out the Ebon for the Quizlet. I will hit my supercharge, let it run its dur duration, and then I'll switch back to the Ebon. Uh, the reason why I do this is because I will get the most beneficial amount of damage out of my supercharge by doing this. Um, so that's the only thing what I do. In terms of art swapping uh, on my AOE loadout. Uh, in terms of allies, we are running Superman. He's probably by far the best AOE ally out there for us as DPS. And I then also take General Zod. Um, this guy, he's just all around good. In my opinion, he increases my might. He increases my power restoration um so i gain additional power regen and additional might and additional precision if i wanted to throw in weapon attacks this guy is just uh, a walking train <laughs> he's a wrecking ball so I, I i highly recommend getting zod for a dps standpoint and then we take static so what static does is whenever i use my supercharge and he said ultimate again 
but when we set when we, when we use our supercharge it gives us pretty much the transformation card or the strategy card it's one of the two cards it, it gives us additional critical chance and a critical attack damage um for a periodic uh time uh equivalent to how much we spend in our in our supercharge obviously in our situation over here we are running a 10,000 supercharge so we're gonna get a lot we're gonna get a lot of uptime from that um in terms of our skills we are running spontaneous combustion so this burns the enemies and they take additional damage um we then take stoke flame we do clip these two together we are running a fire burst i've got overheat flame cascade is our spammable and then we have our supercharge so in terms of skill points as you can see we are super powered and then take my critical attack chance critical attack damage i then take might and power and then the rest go into precision um so let's let's go ahead and hop into how the rotation goes for this Oh, uh, uh, another thing as well in terms of uh, my little slotables and stuff, what I have on my on my utility belt. We are running the Alfred box. I have a supply drop. I have an additional might trinket. And then we have my orbital. Um, you can do whatever you want. If you want backup or whatever, that's your choice. But that's what I run. That's how I get down. So in terms of our loadout... In terms of rotation, I always start off with number three. So we go into number three. We clip one and two together. I hit number four. And then I spam number five. And I do number five until about now. And then we clip number three. And rinse and repeat. And we literally just rinse and repeat that. As you can see, we just did 2.5 mil. 2.8 mil. point nine mil three point one mil there you can see we're hitting above three mil in terms of our a we load out so that's that's the AOE. That's the AOE cupboard. Let's uh hop over to single target. I do need to buy one thing over here. Just in case we need it. Um so single target. Um as you can see, same gear. The only difference is is artifacts change. So with the artifacts over here, um they do change. I do run solar amplifier and the two cards. Um, like I say, if I'm popping my ultimate, uh, supercharge, ultimate, guys, I've been playing Elder Scrolls too much. They're called ultimates on Elder Scrolls. Um, we'll be doing some build videos for that as well. Um, but yeah, uh, when I do use my supercharge, I will swap it out for the strat and then I'll swap back to the strat. The only other time when say, for example, my um my stuff will change let me get away from that guy um the only time will um when this will change is if i'm running like elite content and i'm struggling like when it's fresh out when elite content's like fresh and i'm struggling with it that's when i will actually change a couple of things around here so i'll actually get rid of this and i'd run a hard light shield but what I also do with my artifacts is I actually get rid of the strategist card and I run uh, Lassia's Amulet um, instead. Um, the reason why I run Lania's Amulet is because whenever I use the abilities on people, 
Um, as you can see, it sacrifices my health. Right? But then I heal myself whenever I use my finisher. So, I've actually studied this uh, artifact quite a lot. And I've noticed if you use three abilities and then finish, it's very, very tanky and survivable. Um, in this case, we can actually get away with with procking a, a fourth as we're fired. Reason why is because this fourth ability here um, actually heals me. So absorb heat is actually healing me. Um, so I can get away with it, uh, with it from time to time, um, providing on what kind of content I'm running. But if if I'm going into something and I really really need to survive, and it's really hard content, and I've not I'm not geared up quite yet because it's brand new elite content. This is what I would run. In terms of just generalizing DPS, um, I would normally just stick to what I had, which is uh, spontaneous combustion, overheat, uh, amplified heat vision, absorb heat, um, snuff out, and volcanic calamity with uh, the two cards and uh, the solar amp. That's what I would run in a group optimized situation. Um, obviously it didn't take change because we're in combat over here. Um, if you didn't want to run, say, this, you could swap it out for Robot Psychic. That could be another option. Um, realistically, I prefer a bit more AoE damage in certain situations. Um, some boss fights are really finical because some boss fights will spawn a load of ads into the boss fight. That's where spontaneous combustion will really, really shine um, in terms of that. Overheat is a single target and a AOE uh, DOT, so it's really, really strong to have on the loadout. Um, obviously, the burst damage from amplified heat vision with your solar amp being 160 plus will cause a chain reaction when it implodes and explodes out um it will affect other people um and then yeah uh these two are just purely single target and then they, this, this is just this is insane like volcanic calamity is insane if you didn't want to run volcanic calamity you could run near venom boost um if if you want it to that will just increase your damage output and that just overall is always a good option um that's my go-to in terms of skill points as you can see we're super powered critical attack chance critical attack damage and then i take might and power in terms of allies as a single target nothing really changes other than our main additional person from aoe to single target i drop superman and replace them for crypto the reason why i take crypto is because i still think crypto has the best single target damage if you didn't want to run crypto you could take house of legends bot he also does single target damage um he's another solid option but i just think overall crypto is slightly better plus what's good with crypto because i'm fire burning enemies make them vulnerable to burning effects so additional burning effects do apply um and i i just yeah i just think crypto is just just the better one for uh single target that's the single target explained um let's jump into tanks so with the tanking as you can see got my standard tank gear nothing special my artifacts aren't even 140 plus Take that in the note. Personally, I'd only push them to 160 anyway because I don't need 200 arts. Because I don't, I don't need it. I've tanked everything with what I've got. So, um, yeah, even Elite Plus, uh, I'd probably be able to tank it. Um, just because I know that I'm personally a confident enough player. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we take every man prototype what this does is it, we gain health converted to defense 
So whenever we take damage, we gain more defense. Um, and then when we gain our health back, we we keep a stack of extra defense and stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. So the higher the health, the higher the defense we have. And then when we take damage, we gain additional defense. What I read from this. Um, our next one is Mystic Symbol of the Seven. So this increases our defense just overall. And it increases our healing received. Obviously, if I had this at 160 plus or 180, I would also gain regenerate a small amount of health based on the restoration each time I am struck by an enemy. So it's a really, really good survivability. They've all got good survivability. And then I take Manacles of Force. Manacles of Force is really, really good. Uh, Manacles of Force allows me to absorb up to 50% of income and damage um, for up to 5 seconds. I am currently have, have it at 3. And the cooldown is currently 60 seconds where you can get that down to uh, 45. What makes Manacles really good as well is it actually reduces all cooldowns of my shields by 10%. So we actually do have two abilities on my bar what are quote unquote considered uh shields and we'll talk about that in a minute the only other um artifact i'll swap out for my second tank loadout would be i would drop manacles for lassia uh for, for for the lasso a truth um that's the only other thing that i'll do but i'll i'll, I'll explain that in a minute so in terms of allies i realized just a minute ago that I was running the wrong ally before I started the video. So I actually run Poison Ivy. The reason why I run uh, Poison Ivy as a tank is is really, really handy. Um, whenever I put it down, anything what's not a boss, so trash mobs, ads, all that jazz, anything what is not a boss, if you put her down, she will put wild vines and she will pull everything to her. This saves me grabbing trash mobs. I can literally just put it down and then she's just going to grab them for me. So it's really, really, really nice to have her. It's just an extra pull mechanism for me. Um, and then we take Superman. I take Superman for Inspiring Breakout. The reason why I take this is... Um, because whenever I use my group, uh, breakout ability as a tank, I give everyone, uh, a damage absorption shield, which is really, really nice because it just helps the group survive a lot. It's, it's really, really handy. And then we take Exabyte Overdrive with Lex as our second support ally. Um, uh, this also increases my restoration, which we need. It increases my health. Which we, uh, does it increase health? No, it doesn't. But it increases uh, dominance and restro by 7% for 9 seconds, which we both need. But the only time when this procs is if I go below 50% health. It's very rare. It can still happen quite often, more than what you probably realize, especially when you're running the harder content like Elite and Elite Plus. Take that into consideration. Um, in terms of our loadout, we are running golf. This is my main pole. This is how I get all the ads over to me, get their attention, grab the aggro. Backdraft is my 360 degrees pole. So once I have everything roughly near me, I can hit this and it pulls them all straight into a nice little cluster. You know, real nice to have. We have Stoke Flame. This is my bread and butter healing on my survivability this actually goes hand in hand so whenever i have my healing up and i hit backdraft my backdraft is actually giving me additional healing uh and that's how fire works it it, it, it combines with one another so it's really really nice uh we do take burn burning determination so this actually falls in under a shield even though it says that it's nothing to do with the shield this actually does give me a shield. So this shield is 10% cooldown, even though it's not classed as a quote-unquote shield. 
it technically is still quote unquote a shield uh and people don't realize that so with me running manacles of force is actually giving me a 10 percent cooldown on that and i'm also getting a 10 10 second uh 10 percent cooldown on my hard light shield uh as well as that is quote unquote shield too um and then we have the burning breakout with the superman we gain that additional damage absorption shield it's really really nice like i say um for my other tank loadout the only difference is i will drop manacles for lasso of the truth and then i drop engulf for mesmerizing lasso itself and that is my other tank loadout and it allows me just to group everything and just be an annoyance um very handy in certain situations where lasso is very much needed um yeah that's my go-to tank loadouts in terms of how my tank is specced um it doesn't change in terms of the skill points the only things what changes what i've just mentioned um so in terms of the skill points as you can see i am super powered people would say why didn't you go hybrid personally i don't like how hybrid it is hybrid is good but me personally i don't typically need hybrid i don't need that additional five percent dominance and five percent restro because the problem is going with hybrid it means that i have to weapon attack to get power and with super powered i don't have to weapon attack it's just a generation what just happens and happens and comes flooding in like your power is just there consistently so i don't see dropping conditional power having power at all times for five percent restroom and five percent dominance this dominance isn't needed you get enough dominance from your uh gear alone restoration is not needed like that either so realistically to me it's kind of pointless um so i i personally go super powered that's a preference it's up to you if you want to spec the other way i'm not going to tell you what to do it's your game you play it how you want this is just how i play it this is how i play my game and enjoy my game i'm putting this loadout out for everyone who wants to be fire and if you want to try it yourself you're more than welcome to um as you can see we've got critical healing chance critical healing magnitude and then i take health and then we go into restoration after the health the reason why i do this with fire is because um you don't really need the dominance like i say you get enough dominance from your gear alone even even with the elite like the elite gear for the dominance like look at my dominance this is just off of gear okay gear and and my small things as you can see like i got 80k dominance i've got more than enough to do anything like it, it's ridiculous like here look raid elite plus suggested dominance 68 i've got 80k dominance just from gear alone i'm already 20k more dominance than suggested dominance do you see where i'm coming from so you don't typically need the dominance um and that's just my personal preference you know like like i say it's a personal preference it's up to you how you want to spec in terms of iconic powers i do take amazonian deflection uh lasso um hard light shield and super strength the reason why i take amazonian defection is because certain situations like especially like survival modes and that there are certain situations where this may actually come in clutch um but yeah um that's pretty much it that's pretty much how i spec i do always get my super speed and all that and i always get all these roots even on my dps has all this um just because i think that they help um i understand if you don't have the skill points if you don't have the skill points and you're short on skill points i highly recommend just getting your super speed and then maybe the just getting these resistances uh these two resistances here um you don't really need these last three 
I just hit him, hit him anyway because I, I got the skill points. But um, yeah, that's pretty much a fire loadout. I do stream uh, three days a week on twitch.tv forward slash fingers. I'll leave a link down below. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you all. Like, follow, subscribe. It helps a long way. And uh, I'm going to try and put out some more content for this game and for Elder Scrolls Online. As they're my two main games, what I do play a lot of. Um, yeah, and uh, I hope to see you in the near future. And feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you all later. Take care. Peace.